guys what's up this is gonna be my video showing you how to fix all the green poison errors that might occur while you are jailbreaking or in the process of also installing Cydia using the loader app on your device now along with that I also will be doing this troubleshooting video to help fix users that are already jailbroken on the 4.2.1 uh, firmware tethered using red snow uh, so as well as uh, already unlocked to preserve their baseband, I'll basically be showing the users how to do that. So basically what you'll do is open up Green Poison. Now once you open up Green Poison, you'll simply hit Jailbreak and follow the same steps as if you're jailbreaking. Now this basically will run Green Poison over your already jailbroken device and untether uh, your device so then you don't have to install Cydia from the loader app since you already do have Cydia and it basically will untether your tether device or already jailbroken device using green poison uh, just from uh, jailbreaking using green poison now the next step would be when you are jailbroken with green poison and then you use the loader app and it is not working to install Cydia when you do Install Cydia on your 4.2.1 untethered jailbroken device using Green Poison. Now, usually when you would use Green Poison, it would show, uh, it will install the loader icon on your springboard, so then you would simply tap on it. But then once you would tap on it, it will say loading sources, and then it won't install at all. So to fix that, basically what you would do is go and download Red Snow from the link in the description and then you will open up Red Snow. So now once you open up Red Snow, what you'll do is go into Browse and then you'll browse for the uh, firmware 4.2.1 firmware file for your device. Okay? Now after that, what you'll do is uh, let it process the firmware as if you were actually jailbreaking and then it will say IPSW successfully identified. Now it will prepare the jailbreak data and then it should be finished. Now after that what it will say is it will say please select your options custom logos are not yet available for this device. So then all you'll do is simply check install Cydia. Now after that you'll make sure your device is both off and plugged in to uh, the computer. So then you'll simply uh, slide to power off your device and then make sure your device is plugged into your computer. Now once it is both off and plugged in, you'll proceed to the next step. Now after you proceed to the next step, it'll take you straight into DFU mode. So then once you hit next, you'll just uh, hold down the power button in the corner for three seconds, then you'll continue on releasing the power button and continue holding the home button in the center for 10 seconds and then without releasing the home button release the power button but keep holding the home button for 10 seconds and then it will basically be installing Cydia on your device now your device will basically reboot after this and you should see Cydia installed on your device Now, once your device is finished uh, rebooting, what you'll do is see Cydia on your springboard. Then you simply can tap on Cydia, and then it will start loading. So that's all you have to do in order to install Cydia on your device. It's a very simple process, and thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to like this video and leave a comment below. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.